we are going to release the World Energy Outlook 2011 on 9th of November in London. And this year, we are releasing our book in a very uncertain climate. There are lots of question marks in terms of the economic growth uh, worldwide. There are questions about the nuclear industry's uh, future, and there are questions about the oil market's prospects. It is, a, of course, a key part of our work, and we both look at the demand side and the supply side. On the demand side, we make a detailed analysis of the car ownership growth in the emerging countries, its impact on the oil demand, but as well as on the car manufacturing industry worldwide. But we also look at the where will the supply, where will the production growth uh, will come from? What are the challenges, what are the problems, what are the pitfalls to being the production uh, growth? And we also pay a special uh, attention to what is going on in the Middle East and North African countries, so-called Arab Spring. How could it affect the global supply uh, future and what will be the implications of this on the international oil prices? We look at the uh, coal markets in depth this year. It is one of the in-depth studies we carry out. Coal is a key uh, fuel and when we look at the last 10 years, the global energy mix, if it increased by 100 units, coal, oil, gas, everything put together, 50 units are coming from coal, a backbone of the electricity generation of today, and according to analysis, will stay so with the current policies in place. So we analyzed the demand, trade, and the supply of coal in depth, and looked at the economics of uh, uh, coal production, and also the coal price evolution. We paid a special analysis on specific coal countries. In terms of the uh, countries, as you uh, may know, if you are a good reader of the World Energy Outlook, every year we are focusing on a single country and make an in-depth analysis. And this year it is Russia. We look at the uh, Russian domestic markets, we look at the Russian supply, and we look at the, what will Russian oil and gas mean for the global gas markets in the future, in the global energy mix and in the geopolitical uh, context. Climate change, a crucial topic for the World Energy Outlook. When we look at the infrastructure of energy sector, when we look at the current investments, we see the risk of our energy sector being locked in and we'll have a very little room of maneuver. We try to uh, define that room of maneuver in this year's World Energy Outlook. In terms of uh, nuclear industry, after Fukushima, we are trying to bring some analysis, as we call the low nuclear case. What happens if the nuclear capacity additions, nuclear industry growth is much lower than we thought before. What are the implications on other fuels? Coal, gas, renewables. What are the implications of the, uh, on climate change? What are the implications on the energy prices? Coal prices, gas prices, and others. So we are analyzing this in a separate chapter on the low nuclear case, as we uh, call it. Another uh, topic, which is very close to our heart, in the World Energy Outlook is the energy and the poor. And in the past, we have quantified how many people have no access to electricity. We also quantified how much money is needed, how much investment is needed to bring electricity to these people. And this year, we are working on how can we finance those investments in those countries, a key input, we hope, for the 2012 Energy Access for All announced by United Nations. These are some of the key topics of the forthcoming World Energy Outlook. There are other topics, and we hope, as it is the case in the previous years, World Energy Outlook will shed light to the uncertain times uh, in the global energy markets.